Oh wow. See, this is why you don't pick at your skin. I always turn nothing into something. Get yourself a tongue scraper. You don't need to see me do it though. It's kind of gross. My skin truly has not looked this bad in so long and I'm like casually freaking out right now. Stick a mighty patch over it, cross my fingers. Work out clothes on right away so I have no choice. Despite my rough awakening, you know, I am just so excited to talk to you today. I put on a little Christmas sweater. Well, it has a Grinch on it. I wouldn't say I'm like a Grinch person, but like it's the spirit, you know? I was thinking, okay, like usually my skin does bad before my period, but like my period is ending. So I'm like, my skin shouldn't be doing so bad right now. But then I'm also thinking, I so believe that everything is so heavily connected like what you eat what you drink your routines how you sleep how you move whatever and so I'm thinking the month of December really is a month of indulgence right so I'm like maybe I've been having more sugar than normal and my skin is internalizing that and being like Morgan what the fuck? <laughs> you know but regardless stop picking your skin. This is me talking to you, but this is me talking to me. Stop picking your skin. <laughs> I actually had more of like a planned out, kind of structured, but still vlog style video planned for today. But I thought, I was like, you know what, Morgan, it's Saturday, I wanna sleep in, and I wanna just have fun and vlog. You know, I'm always trying to provide value, and I do think I do a good job of that, but like today I just wanna have fun. I don't wanna think about anything crazy, I just wanna be me, I wanna talk to you, I wanna hang out, I wanna have fun. We're in the second week of December, which is crazy, like, let's embrace it. Nevertheless, greens, Always. Although next we're gonna get like so crazy out of routine. I want to make like a yummy white chocolate little latte this morning. So I will be having protein coffee, but I also don't want to eat breakfast quite yet. So we're just gonna do a little protein shake on its own. So we have a little strawberry milkshake to start off the day. Great flavor. In the winter and holiday season, I think it's the most fun time of year to get creative with your coffee drinks. So what we're gonna do is we have this cute little mug. That part is required. Cute little mug and we're gonna break these bars like crack so uneven, I don't know why, but we're just gonna break some white chocolate, throw it in there. Starting my day off with plenty of sugar, <laughs> which I normally don't, I'm like, you know, protein coffee, good for you, like less sugar, whatever, but some days, some days, you just treat yourself. We just threw a double shot right over the chocolate so that it melts it. I'm excited. Then you use your powerful mixer to make sure it's all dissolved in there. And for this, we're gonna use regular milk because it froths up the best. And to be honest, I think it just tastes actually really good in sweet coffee drinks. You see, I have this ongoing milk dilemma and I would love any advice. So I typically make my oat milk at home, right? And everyone lately has been saying, oat milk is so bad for you. And since I make it at home, I'm like, okay, but is it so bad for me? Like, is it the additives? Or is it just, I feel like oats can be controversial, you know, just like eggs for health wise, right? But then I'm like, okay, almond milk, isn't that really bad for the environment? That's why I don't really buy almond milk. Like, isn't it like the worst one for the environment? And I could be wrong, I could be wrong. I feel like every time I try to research this topic, I find conflicting answers, so it's really hard to figure out, and it's not like I'm a nutritionist, like I don't know. I also don't have like a machine to make almond milk at home. That's a little bit more intense than making oat milk at home, which is why I make oat milk at home. It's just not that, it's not that hard. However, I'm also not lactose intolerant, and regular milk does have protein in it. I'm not against regular milk. What I'm afraid of though is if it's gonna make me break out, I eat dairy, however. I don't really drink regular milk often. I would say maybe like once a week, but I eat cheese. Like I do not avoid dairy at all. And maybe I should, maybe I should, I don't know. But what I'm also afraid of is if cows are like injected with steroids and hormones and then that is gonna come to my body. But that's why I'm afraid of cow's milk. Like I don't know what the answer is. And is there ever an answer? I mean, of course it differs per person, but like I think about this all the time and I don't know what to do about it. Then you just take your cute little mug and you pour your frothed milk right into it. Although the foam literally stuck, but see that's why regular milk is so good is there's so much foam and that just makes for such a fun latte. Looks so good. I also have this. This is more fun to use for like an iced white chocolate drink so you can put around the cup, but we'll add a little, a little flavor swirl. I let him lick the Greek yogurt container yesterday when it was just about empty. Look at <laughs> the little white. You need a bath today. We are starting our Saturday cozy on the couch with the dunks, with the yummy coffee, and with watching Vlogmas. I miss Lauren Geraldo's Vlogmas so much. She's a baby now, so like obviously she's not doing Vlogmas with a literal newborn, but last year I was so obsessed with her Vlogmas. I, I miss it. Okay. When I tell you he always has to be touching me, like I, <laughs> the love, I just, 
I was watching this TikTok yesterday and it was all about like girls' personalities like based off their dog and Black Lab girlies had the best <laughs> response. And I'm like, okay, am I really gonna let this guy like tell me like who I am? That's a complete stranger on TikTok just like making stuff up and wanting views. But like, yes, I kind of did. You know, it boosted my ego a little bit. He was saying how like Black Lab girlies are just like the best. And I wasn't gonna argue with that. I have been chilling, doing nothing for far too long, but I'm so hungry. So we're gonna make just some toasty before I do a little workout for the day. Moving like still just doesn't feel real to me. I'm moving in less than a month. I'm moving in just over 20 days. And I haven't really started packing because like December is so busy, right? So I think I'll do the majority of my packing after Christmas before New Year's and I think that's when it's really gonna hit me. I thought it was gonna hit me when I signed the lease. And then I thought it was gonna hit me when I packed up the loft, like where I do the majority of my computer work. And it just still, it just still doesn't hit me. I'm doing this by the way, cause this I feel like I need to mix up. And I hate mixing it with a knife. This is almond butter. I actually don't typically buy almond butter, but I have this. Like I just like peanut butter so much more than almond butter. I'll play Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. No, you know what is the best Christmas song? This is her. I will never get over that. Also, like, I just love Vlogmas. I really do. It's a lot of work in terms of, like, it is very time-consuming, right? But I love YouTube with my whole heart, and, like, I'm just so thankful, grateful, lucky. Like, I wake up every day, and I'm like, wow, I have the best job ever. You know, that's thanks to you. Like, I literally am just so appreciative of this. And so, I don't know. It's just so fun, like, uploading a video every single day. It's crazy, but, like, it's just fun. And I love to watch other people's videos, like... I'm such an avid YouTube watcher. I just, Vlogmas like feels magical. It feels like it just like brings the spirit. It's like, I don't know. And a lot of my videos during Vlogmas this year, like they, they haven't been super Christmassy because I don't know, you can only do so much of that. And I do want to stay true to like what I post about and how I'm feeling. And I still want to provide value. This video is just a little more like fun because like they're fun to sprinkle in. And like, I love to film just like random things and just me being me a little bit more. But I just, ah, I don't know, I just love it. Before we go work out, I want to show you guys the advent calendar I bought from Strawberry Milk Mob. It was shipped to me, but in the box came this bag. Because, like, I obviously bought it online. And in this bag came this giant box, and you open it up, and it's literally, like, an advent calendar. Like, I didn't realize that all these things, I kind of ripped some of them. But we're going to open, and you bet I did not open one a day. I opened them all at once because... I could not wait. But the box is so cute, and let me show you what's inside. It is a bikini company. I discovered it because Georgia, like the owner, she popped up on my TikTok for you page like all the freaking time, like I'm sure she did for other people. And so finally, like a year after I started seeing her, I followed her, and she, number one, is amazing. Like I'm obsessed with her, but also, her brand and her bikini store is like just so cute and awesome and so I had to buy the advent calendar. I just love her branding and like how she goes about things. Like she does have the cutest styles, but like, I don't know, her brand as a whole, I just love it. The first thing was a pack of socks. These are just like basic tall socks. They say strawberry milk bomb on them. And then she runs it with her two sisters and the brand is called Strawberry Milk Bomb, but she calls them like blueberry and coconut, like just different, I don't know, it's, it's a thing. So we also have a blueberry and a coconut for the socks. Next up in this cute little pink case, high <laughs> chunks, was a pair of glasses, sunglasses. I don't have any white pairs and I don't know how I feel about them, but they're just very basic, but they do have the really cool like Prada-esque, <laughs> watch out dunks, Prada-esque, whatever this is called. And they do say Strawberry Milk Mob on the side. The case is adorable, which also says Strawberry Milk Mob. And then, of course, it came with a little bikini. It's hard to show you when I'm literally wearing a red sweatshirt, but this is the top. I think it's adorable. These straps like untie too, so you could probably tie it however you want, whether you tie it like together or a halter or whatever, because there's also a back strap, but very cute. The bottoms are very cheeky, but they're cute. All of the boxes came with the same suit. You just picked your size. Size. And then oh my gosh, I love the cover-ups that they have. It's this long mesh skirt and I think this is such a vibe like it would just oh my gosh It looks so cute the way Georgia styles these I am obsessed like I just ah I'm so excited and swimsuit season is gonna come a lot earlier for me this year moving to Texas and then a cute little tote bag because we all love tote bags adorable claw clip it's red but it also says strawberry on it and lastly these fun chunky earrings and it came with these stickers as well but so if you've seen her on TikTok and you've been curious about her shop 
that is what came in the advent calendar. It was expensive, but I really wanted it. Not gonna lie, my workout schedule has been a little off lately. Just because of a crazy schedule, I recently had my period, like things are just a little crazy, but you know, it's okay. You do what you can. The holiday season is just, you know, unlike any other time of the year. And I don't typically always work out on Saturdays and Sundays, but my schedule's been off. I might as well. Something I think would be useful for me to learn. You warm up first, right? And then I feel like a lot of people do like dynamic stretches and they do stuff for mobility or so they call it. And I don't really know what that means. So I think I should dive into that. That's my next adventure. All right, first up we are doing RDLs with the bar. This feels so good. Oh my God, it burns. It burns in like all the right places, which makes me happy. I forgot that for goblet squats, because I want to raise my heels, it kind of hurts when I'm not wearing shoes. I don't feel like going upstairs to get my shoes. Okay, pull the quads, pull the quads. The heart rate is up. The sad part about moving and joining a gym is my little buddy can't hang out with me while I work out. I'm sorry. Oh, what a good boy. My quads are actually burning from that. Like they're, they're tense. Man, I like feel like I need to stretch these out before the next thing. Also, do you guys ever do good mornings? I've done them like once before and I thought they were cool, but I haven't tried them in a long time. Do you like that exercise? If so, is it worth it? Should I do them more? I know Bulgarian split squats are the thing that everyone hates, but I try to tell myself that I don't hate them. Hi, baby. But I try to set up for them like this, planting the foot. Making sure we're at a 90 degree here. Hinge forward a little bit, and you gotta sit back. Woo, I'm falling. Re redo. Oh boy. Yeah, that's good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now the hard part is switching legs and doing it on my non-dominant side and still having good form. I struggle with this every time. Oh boy. These are hard. No pain, no gain. Let's walk it out, walk it out. Oh my goodness, my, whew, my body's feeling it. I just like, like to walk after, not only to, you know, just continue burning, but also I just feel like it loosens my like legs back out, especially when they feel so tight from everything I did. I like literally feel so good though. I'm so pale. I'm sorry the bud's not made. I mentioned in a previous video that I have free Duncan, so what better thing to do on a Saturday? He is ready, taking my Duncan to go get Duncan. I really don't even go out and buy coffee that often at all, but I have free Duncan, so like, I am using that up. I have four to use this month. Hi, can I do a medium iced coffee with the peppermint mocha flavor and milk? Can I also get a pup cup? I just got whipped cream on the lens. You know, I would say he's pretty well behaved, set, but when it comes to pup cups, he, it, manners go out the window. Set, sit down, hey, set, set, set. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I literally can't leave the drive through window. Okay, I pulled over really quick so I could try it. It's hit or miss if they charge me for a pup cup. Dunkin' Donuts like just started doing that this past year. They never used to, and I got charged today. I don't think I got charged last time. Okay, did you finish? because this isn't for you. I never really get peppermint mocha. I don't think I dislike it. I think I probably just like other flavors more, but I especially don't think I've ever had it in an iced coffee. Uh, I don't know. Like it feels like I am drinking a candy cane, but then after the candy cane flavor, I like get the taste of coffee. Kind of weird to me, but I mean, it's free. So it's the time to try things, right? I love though in the drive-through when like people comment on him, like she could see him peeking through and she's like, don't worry, I'm coming, I'm coming, you know, cause he's like so excited. I am gonna go to the Badger hockey game tonight with some friends. So I'm gonna get ready now and that's why I put on my Badger crew neck. I just love this thing because it's so quick and I just want some wave in my hair. I usually wear a baseball hat over for stuff like this or I could wear my new clip from Strawberry Milk Mob. I really am not a fan of putting on a ton of makeup when my skin is going through it, but number one, I mean, I'm going somewhere and stuff, so like, not gonna lie, I 
do you want to cover it up? Actually, number one is the only reason I'm putting makeup on. But I don't like it because not only do I feel like it prevents the healing, which maybe it's fine, maybe the makeup I'm using is fine, but in my head, like, it totally slows down the healing. But also, I just feel like the makeup looks bad. Like, the texture just seems exemplified. Is that the right word? I honestly don't know. But it just, like, looks so much worse. So, like, my whole, like this area oh i look at myself and it just looks like bumpy and i i'm not happy about it but you know what i'm not gonna like stay home just because i'm breaking out you know i recently got the better than sex mascara although i think it's a new version of it it's called naturally better than sex and i always love the l'oreal lash paradise and when this first came out everyone says it was a dupe for the better than sex but i've never tried this i've only tried this and i love this so let's give this a go. I'm excited to open a brand new bottle though because it's so satisfying. Like it's just so clean. Oh, I do need a primer. Also when my skin is bad though, I just feel like I'm wearing more makeup because I'm trying to cover things up. So I just feel like so cakey and heavy. Whatever, it's fine. It was just the cards I was dealt today. Actually, I did this to myself. I fully did this to myself. My skin would not be this bad if I wouldn't pick at it. So I can't even say it just happened to me because it is my own fault. I need to take responsibility for that. I feel like this is dry. But not gonna lie, so far I do like the L'Oreal better. This one definitely makes my lashes look softer. I am a firm believer though that you don't always need expensive makeup. Like so many drugstore products I use are absolute gems. I'm also not a makeup guru, but in my opinion, I mean my lashes look good, don't get me wrong, I can't lie about that, but I'm not sure how much that costs, but in my opinion, I bet it would not be worth the price. I just love L'Oreal mascara. We ordered wings over Madison for a fun Saturday night dinner in before we go to the hockey game. We have fries, and instead of wings, we actually got tossed tenders, citrus chipotle barbecue, honey barbecue, and sweet chili. I have not been to the Kohl Center in so long, I'm like actually excited. The batters won hockey, exciting, yay. Okay, we're gonna make some hot chocolate and then put it in travel mugs and go see holiday lights. There's lights actually not super far from my house and it's almost 10 o'clock, which means the lines should be calming down and all the kids will be in bed that are like going to see the lights. The lines were insane when we passed going to the game at like 6.30, that'll be cute and fun. And we came home so we could both make hot chocolate and pick up Duncan so he can come with us. Oh, we didn't use advent calendar yet today. I would let you, I know. <laughs> he knows it's for him. I would let you open it, but you can't. You don't have thumbs. This one right here. I know you don't. You can't bite it like that. Here. Ooh, it looks like a big puffball. This is day nine. Wait. Get it? <laughs> he, whenever he eats something new, he will take it from me and he'll go take it to his bed <laughs> and like take his time and investigate it and stuff. We got the Swiss Miss. Might as well pop a little marshmallow or two in there and one for the road. As I catch this. I'm so nervous that I'm, I'm gonna laugh is the problem. I can't like call my face because I'm just gonna laugh. <laughs> if you get closer, this is way too far away. <laughs> wait, 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 try again. Okay. Right I, 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 okay, Third time's the charm, ready? So when we entered, there was a QR code to scan so that you can play the soundtrack. It's obviously a lot prettier when there's snow and stuff and being in Wisconsin, that's very hit or miss for this time. But I'm happy we got to take Duncan with. It's fun to get to do things with him. Oh, hi baby. Lights were cute, of course. We're just gonna watch a movie and like literally go to bed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so that I can finish editing it. Cause it's going up tomorrow. Cause that's just how Vlogmas works. Isn't this crazy? Like this is just crazy to me and I've been keeping up with it. It's a lot of fun though. So if you've been watching, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. I hope you're having a great holiday season so far. Sending love. Please subscribe if you're not and I'll see you in my next one.